All right, let's take a look at uh, your exam two, review question number seven. So this is an antiderivative. See the integral sign here. Find this antiderivative. Right away, I can see that certainly this is the power rule and hence why I have the formula right there. So the power rule simply says to take the power and add one. That's this n plus one, n over n plus one. And then minus 14x, that's like to the first power, so it'd be one plus one over one plus one. And because this is an indefinite integral, we don't have values for a and b, we need to add our plus c. So from here, I can try to make it look a little better. And then minus 14x squared over two plus c. And then of course, I can say two will go into 14 seven times and get my answer. And remember on these, if you spent the time to check this, meaning take this derivative, minus seven x squared plus c. So the first one, the derivative, this is the power where you're bringing the power down, would be 15 x to the fourth, and still the five on the bottom, Next one would be 14x, the derivative of a constant is zero, and then the five into 15, and it looks like, woohoo, that's what I started with. Oops, I forgot my x, why didn't you yell at me? Forgot my x there. But it does look like that's what I started with. So if you take the time to check these, one, it makes you understand that this is the derivative the antiderivative is the original function that we come up with. And if you check your answer by taking the derivative to see if you get this answer back.